So welcome back. This is another video on the Lilligo pager. Today we are going to be looking at how to flash some firmware on this to make it a really, really cool penetration testing device with lots of functionality. So the software that I've currently got installed in here is Launcher. And through Launcher, I have got Mesh Core on here and I also have the Bruce firmware. So here's the Bruce firmware. This is working absolutely fantastically on here. All of the Wi-Fi tools are currently working. All of the Bluetooth tools are currently working. I've not tried the radio frequencies as I've not got a CC1101 module for this yet. I've not tried the NORF24 as well as I currently haven't got that unit yet either. The device doesn't support infrared unless you have an external module. So that's something that I've not tested and played with yet. But all of four of those things can be an additional add-on with the GPIO ports at the end here. And the RFID is the only part that's currently not working. I've not used the radio yet. The file server works beautifully. The GPS and war driving works phenomenally. I will say that you do have to make sure that when you do war drive with this, you check your broad weight and make sure that it is on the 38,400 BPS. Otherwise it will not pick up satellites and it will not work. The JavaScript interpreter works really well. Our other settings are just like the other Bruce settings. Our clock works the same as all the other clocks on Bruce. Our connect settings works wonderfully and our config file works the same as always as well. So as far as Bruce goes, it works a really, really good device. I will say that one of my favorite features of this device at the moment is kind of using it as a sysadmin device. It allows me to connect to USB-C to a USB-A and use this as an actual keyboard to type on that computer. And to be able to have a USB keyboard that's this small when, when walking through a data center or servicing a comms cupboard is absolutely phenomenal. Also the fact that you can connect this via Ethernet and SSH into a server or SSH into another device is also a fantastic way of using it for system administration. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to install Launcher onto this and then how to install Bruce. On the bottom of the page we have three buttons. They are Reboot, Boot and Power. What we need to do is when we plug our device in, we need to hold down the boot button to put it into the boot mode. So let's do that now. So we'll now click reboot and hold the boot button at the same time and it, the screen should stay blank and our device is now in boot mode. So let's go over to the PC and start flashing some firmware. So now that the device is now in boot mode, we're going to come over to we're going to come over to M5 Launcher, which is here. Uh, we're going to scroll down to the section where it's going to say web flasher. And if you want to read the documentation, it's all on here. So here is our web flasher. So we'll click here. We then need to go on to our different devices. So at the moment, the LilyGo pager is under beta, it's under LilyGo, and you should see that the pager is on here. Here you go. What you're gonna do is click the actual white text before the blue link. The blue link will take you to the website where to buy it, whereas the white bit here will take you to the flasher. We are now going to connect to our hardware. So mine is the USB JTAG here. It's gonna connect up now. We're going to install and then we're going to click erase device and next. I'm not going to do this step as I already have it fully installed and working well. Once we've done that, our next job is going to be to go over to the Bruce firmware so we can get a dot bin of the Bruce firmware. There's multiple ways to do this. My favorite way is to go to the web flasher and steal it from there rather than having to find it and dig it out on the GitHub page. So what I'm going to do here is click install. This is going to take me to the web flasher. I'm going to go and click F12 now so that I get my development tools. Make sure I'm on fetch XHR. What I'm going to do now is go to my beta releases. I'm going to go to LilyGo. I'm going to find pager. And then I'm going to click connect. Use JTAG again. And what should happen now is the JSON should now appear here for where the, for where the dot bin is currently being stored. So if I click on this device here, I'll be able to see that it's coming from this URL here and that is the name of it. I'm going to copy this URL apart from the JSON bit and put dot bin at the end. And this will automatically start a download of the Bruce Ligo Laura pager dot bin straight off the bat. All we do now is put our SD card into our computer and put that dot bin on there. So to quickly just go through the launcher firmware, we can use launcher to boot different bins from our SD card. We can do it over the air we can use the web UI, we can use USB, and we can change the settings within the actual launcher itself with its UI color, brightness, dim timer. We can look at all the files we can, and change other settings. 
which just makes this device so much more versatile. To be able to install a different firmware, all we do is load the dot bin onto the SD card, we click on SD, and then we find the dot bin we want to launch, and it will then install that for us on the fly. So now that we've installed Launcher and we've put our dot bin on there, we can start our device. And once in Launcher, we'll go to our SD card, and in our SD card, we are going to go down to Bruce Liligo Pager dot bin. When we click this, we'll click Install. Launcher will now install this firmware off the SD card and then automatically boot into Bruce. It's now complete, so I'll reboot our device. And there we go, we now have Bruce up and running. So there you go, that is your quick tour of Bruce and the Lilligo T pager using Launcher to install the bin. I hope this has been helpful. If you like this, please check out the affiliate link to buy one of these. It sends some money my way, but costs you nothing extra. And as always, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comment. Feel free to subscribe and I will catch you next time. Happy hacking.